Hey there, Vikings fans! Ready for some breaking news that's gonna shake the U.S. Bank Stadium? Our front office just pulled off a move that's got the whole NFL talking. Is it a smart pick or a risky gamble? I'm about to break it all down for you, but first, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's hit 1,000 subscribers and show the strength of our purple pride. The big news is the recent acquisition of a player who's been a hot topic around the NFL. The Vikings just invested an impressive $76 million over four years in this guy, who's coming off a standout season with 13 sacks. But hold on a second. This player has had his ups and downs, missing nine games last year and facing some struggles in his previous seasons. Ryan Fowler from Bleacher Report even called this deal the second worst investment in the league for an edge rusher, right behind Von Miller's big contract with the Bills. We're talking about Jonathan Greenard, who's now stepping into a key role on the Vikings' defense. It's gonna be tough to fill the shoes of Danielle Hunter, who was a beast for us. Hunter had an incredible final year with us, racking up 17 sacks and 23 tackles for loss before heading to Houston. Ironically, Greenard is now taking his spot in Minnesota, while Hunter is over there trying to replicate his success with the Texans. It's a strange twist of fate, but let's not forget the financial side. The Vikings are paying Greenard significantly less than what Houston is shelling out for Hunter. This gives us some flexibility for the future, especially if Greenard doesn't live up to the hype. Now here's where things get interesting. The Vikings didn't stop with Greenard. They also brought in Andrew Van Ginkle and drafted rookie Dallas Turner. This kind of depth could play to Greenard's advantage allowing him to face less pressure and potentially rack up more sacks while helping his teammates shine too. We've got a situation where teamwork could elevate individual performance, and that's something to keep an eye on. In terms of value, Greener doesn't need to match Hunter's numbers to be considered a success. The financial commitment is more manageable, and if things go south, the Vikings can cut ties after just two years. That's a smart play for a franchise looking to build a competitive defense without breaking the bank. So, as we gear up for the season, I urge you to keep your expectations in check. Greenard has potential, but he also has a lot to prove. Let's see how this plays out on the field. I want to hear from you Vikings fans. What are your thoughts on this signing? Do you think Greenard can meet the expectations, or will he be another pricey gamble that doesn't pay off? Comment below, and let's get the conversation going.